Hello children, welcome to yet another session of Geography Class 8, Chapter Asia, The Largest Continent, Session 3. And before we commence, a quick look at what we have studied in our previous session. In our previous session, we studied about the Great River Valleys. In the Great River Valleys, we studied about the Valley of Euphrates, the Valley of Indus, the Valley of Ganga and Brahmaputra, the Great Plain of China, we studied about the island groups. There were three island groups, Indonesia, Philippines, and Japan. We studied about the <coughs> climate of Asia, and we uh, came to know that the monsoon winds are influencing the climate of Asia. Other factors which were affecting the climate of Asia, the vast latitudinal extent, distance from the sea, elevation, monsoon winds, now about the winter monsoons, a low pressure area was developing over the ocean and seas as they were comparatively warmer. The landmass of Asia was quite cold, so the air above it is cold and exerting a high pressure. Winds are moving from high pressure to low pressure and as such they are blowing from land to sea. Since these winds originate over the land, they are dry and do not bring much rain. Some parts of Asia, that is the Southwest Asia, is getting some rainfall from the westerly disturbances. In the summer, the opposite happens. The land mass is intensely heated and a low pressure area is created. In comparison, the sea is cooler and a high pressure area is over the sea. Winds move from high pressure to low pressure area, thus creating the monsoon winds. So the monsoon winds is responsible for giving rainfall to the south and the southeast Asia. And a major, a large amount of rainfall occurs in Mohsen Ram, that is in Meghalaya. And uh, on the other hand, the desert regions receive very low amount of precipitation. Today we are going to start with climate and vegetation of Asia. Now children, the climate of Asia has a profound effect on the natural vegetation of that area. This is true about Asia also. The natural vegetation is closely related to the climate, especially the distribution of temperature and rainfall shows the major zones of natural vegetation of Asia. Firstly, the tundra climate. The northernmost part of Asia, you can see in this uh, uh, map, the northernmost part of Asia, only Asia, you see, that is under the tundra type of climate. This climate is covered with snow for most of the time during the year. Even during the short summer, the temperature is very low. So you can see what it might look like always. It is permanently covered with snow. The average annual precipitation is about 30 centimeters and most of it is received in the form of snowfall. The growing season here is very short and under the conditions of low temperature and little rainfall. The plants do not attain much height. Now vegetation and, clim and, and animals. The natural vegetation of this region consists of low plants such as mosses and lichens. Now children, just have a look at this picture. This is what the mosses and lichens look like. The chief animal of this region is the reindeer, whales, seal, walruses and fish are found in the seas bordering the coast. It can withstand extreme cold and can live in scanty grazing facilities available in the tundra zone. So these cheap animals are found because in this region because they, care, they can withstand the extreme cold and can live in for scanty grazing facilities available in the tundra zone. Okay, our next zone is the taiga type of climate. 
To the south of the tundra belt is the broad area of the taiga climate. You may turn to page 70 to find the taiga region. The light yellow color region just below the tundra region is your taiga region. Now the trees, now this type of climate stretches on a broad belt continuously through northern Russia including Siberia. The trees growing in these forests are coniferous trees. These are vegetation of areas having long severe winter and a short warm summer. Annual precipitation is 25 to 50 centimeters and most of it is in the form of snowfall. Due to low temperature, the rate of evaporation is very low and even the small amount of precipitation is enough to support the forest type of vegetation. Okay, children, see the coniferous forest. Now, the vegetation of, consists of the coniferous trees. So, these are the various coniferous trees that you can see, which do not shed their leaves in winter. That means these trees are evergreen trees. These forests are valuable source of softwood, fir, spruce, and pine. You can see the pine tree. This is the fir, this is pine, this is spruce, this is larch, cedar, and hemlock. So, these are the few trees which are found in the coniferous forest. These softwood trees provide timber and raw material for pulp, paper, and rayon manufacturing industries. Taiga is also the home of the fur-bearing animals such as mink, fox, and sable. So, this is the home of the fur-bearing animals such as mink, fox, and sable. This is what the fox look like. This is the mink and this is the sable found in the taiga type of climate. Our next climate is the temperate climate, temperate zone further south of the taiga forest. Please turn to page number 17 and the, the light pinkish area is your temperate zone below the taiga forests. Now this, in this zone, the winters are quite cold, are cold, but the summers are fairly hot. Average annual rainfall between 20 to 40 centimeters. Due to higher temperature, the rate of evaporation is high. Now vegetation and climate. Now this region is dominated by steppes, that is short grasses, which are found here this type of the moisture thus is not sufficient to allow trees to grow therefore the natural vegetation grows in the form of short grasses antelope is the common animal found in this region here children see the uh, not this here this is the antelope which is found in this region much of the steppe grassland has now been brought under cultivation However, if irrigation is not assured, crop failures due to drought are common. So, here these are the regions of, uh, they are grown for, this region is used for agriculture and extensive farming is done for wheat cultivation. Our next region is the Thar, sorry, the desert region. Very large parts of Southwest and Central Asia are under desert type of climate. Asia has both hot and cold deserts. Now the hot deserts of Arabia and Thar in the Southwestern part, while the cold deserts of Gobi and Tibet are in the North. Now the cold desert looks like this something. It's cold also and nothing grows here. 
Now, rainfall in these regions are very limited. It is not sufficient to support tree growth. Due to unfavorable conditions, only shrubs, thorny bushes, poor grasses can grow in these regions. Common animals of the hot deserts are camel, as gazelle, and cheetah. So you have all seen the camel, as cheetah, and for the gazelle, see this is the picture of the gazelle. The yak is found in the high plateau region of Tibet. Then tropical monsoon climate, areas which experience tropical monsoon climate are affected by the monsoon winds which blow from sea to in the summer and bring seasonal rain. The monsoon type of climate is characterized by the hot rainy summer season, summer and dry season, dry in winter. This is just the type we have in India the monsoon type of climate. The monsoon type of climate is found in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, China, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam and Western Philippines. So all these areas are, they experience the tropical monsoon type of climate. Now vegetation and animals of the tropical monsoon climate the amount of rainfall in Asia increases towards the east and southeast. That means if there more rainfall towards the east and southeast. Summers are long and hot. Winters are short and cool. The natural vegetation here consists of the monsoon forests. As rainfall occurs mostly during the summer, Trees are deciduous which shed their leaves during the winter season. So mostly in this monsoon type of climate, what do you find? The decidu deciduous trees growing. Many useful trees, you may underline this. Teak, sal and sandalwood are found in these forests. Teak and sal provide very good quality timber. Elephant is the typical animal found in these forests. The climate becomes slightly cooler in the Northeast Asia. Here the monsoon forest changes into temperate woodlands. Children, you may turn the page to see that where the temperate woodlands are towards the eastern side. Have you seen the dark pink region? Okay. Now here the monsoon forest changes into temperate woodlands. Much of the eastern part of China has this type of vegetation. So eastern China you will find this type of vegetation. Now the equatorial type. The next type of climate is the equatorial type. This climate is found in Malaysia and Indonesia between the latitudes 10 degrees north and 10 degrees south. So see children, page number 70, you will find the equatorial type of climate and near to the equator, all the island countries, they have the equatorial type of climate. The temperature in this region remains high throughout the year. Why the temperature is high? Because this region is receiving the direct rays of the sun. So it is high throughout the year and heavy rainfall occurs. So because of the high temperature, what happens? Evaporation is more and the rainfall is also more. The rainfall and temperature increases further in the extreme southern part of Asia. So as we go towards the south, the temperature and the rainfall both increases. Now vegetation and animals. Now as you can see in this picture, the natural vegetation of these parts is the equatorial rainforest. Malaysia and peninsula and the islands situated close to the equator have this type of vegetation. Now what is this vegetation? Equatorial type of vegetation now in these forests, the equatorial regions, 
they are very dense that means the forests are very dense you can see in this picture that the forests are very dense and dark even the sunlight fails to reach the ground in abundance in these forests the forests are evergreen and they are home to a large variety of animals mahogany ebony rosewood are the important trees which are grown which grows well in this region from the above discussion it must have been clear that you to you that asia is a continent of great variety so we can see that right from the equatorial type of climate we have the tundra type of climate so there is great variation in type of uh, everything right from vegetation right from the land mass the um, climate the vegetation there is variety in everything the lowest point to the highest point in the world everything is located in this region which is the largest continent of the world asia okay we end up here and we continue with our next session till then i would suggest you stay at home and you stay safe thank you